Hey guys, it's Editing David and here. So the beginning, I sounded really dead. It was really early in the morning. I'm not a morning person at all. I wish I was like some of y'all like just like wake up, not need caffeine at all. Like that's literally goals. Cool. So that would never be me. Anywho. So I'm gonna make the intro a little bit better. So basically it's just going to be a houseplant day. Give you guys some houseplant updates, cleaning the humidifier. That's basically it. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you did to let me know to make more videos like this one, subscribe if you haven't. If you would like to watch more plant related content and also we now have channel memberships i'll have the link down below as well in the description box so let's just get started with the clips hey guys welcome back to another new video so i just want to like show you guys what's going on and just chit chat <laughs> the most deli suicide is starting to put out its humongous leaf and i'm beyond excited i this it was straight for like a couple days and now overnight it's just so that means it's almost getting ready to unfurl and isn't that so stunning beautiful and I know there's another one over here which is also doing its thing. <laughs> a little water droplet as well. And there's my water droplets all over the monstera. I ended up having the fan on blast. <laughs> and um, like on high. And then I had the window open. Good amount of airflow since last night. Well, not last night, but yesterday I ended up watering. Sorry, I just, I literally just woke up. I haven't even had my coffee yet. Uh, <laughs> yesterday I ended up cleaning the fish tank. The water was dirty. That's literally amazing water. It's toxic for your own fishes, but it's amazing water for your houseplants. And yesterday, my little watering can, <laughs> one by one, cleaning tank out of fish tank. I watered all of my plants, even my carnivorous plants. And, um, wow, this is just doing so good. This is just not by accident. But even then, it's beautiful. And oh my God, I'm just so beautiful happy for all these plants and the reason why i mentioned about like having the window open and the fan the ceiling fan on high was to like evaporate the water as fast as i as i could over water a lot of my plants and if there's not a good amount of airflow or if it's cold in here they're gonna get root rot but i'm pretty sure they're gonna like do pretty okay also i ended up watching some videos on how to cover your bromeliad since this is my first bromeliad i have ever had and i was watering it from the bottom because i heard they like to have this soil moist after watching one video it was pretty obvious that they don't really drink water from the soil they drink water from their leaves a little bit of fish drink water i poured it and now it's looking so much better and if you guys can see that i don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up i think it's gonna flower you guys like i thought this was a flower but it's i, I don't know <laughs> like i said this is my first time caring for a bromeliad but you guys oh my god if it flowers <gasps> I'm gonna scream because like it's just so beautiful like the leaves and the foliage i want to get into bromeliads but as of now air plants are my thing like i just love air plants so much but oh yeah and here's the cut grass which is not even supposed to be here to be honest it's supposed to be on the window seal so i guess this will like be blogs i'm guessing and uh, let's work into guys so just leaf leaf and this is a new leaf well was and there's another leaf right there it's just amazing amazing the humidifier ended up running out last night so there was no humidity and the window was open but as of now it is 71 fahrenheit and 77 percent humidity so it's not that bad it's honestly perfect like in the plant room right now also one more thing that i want to say before i go well two things so in this vlog i did mention that well not this vlog but um in another video i said i was going to clean the humidifier and we are going to do this in this video since this is going to be like a vlog type of video. So one of these days, I'm gonna film it and we're gonna convert it into this video. The AC sensor just turns on. It is closed, by the way, because people told me like, why well, you have it open? I'm like, it's not open, it's closed. There's like a little bit of a gap, but it's fine, it's fine. And the last thing that I wanted to say is, I need, I'm, I can't really say so much, but I need to get back <laughs> on like working. Uh, I got to pay something like, like really bad, so yeah i'm not in other words i'm not gonna be able i'm not gonna be so active on youtube or um i love my other so social medias on like plants i'm gonna try to like film a bunch of shopping videos and have them scheduled for youtube because you guys even then like really do seem to enjoy this kind of videos and plant shopping videos are really easy to film like just you go film it and then you edit it and then you publish it yeah so just want to see how these are doing everything's doing pretty good Alrighty. Oh my god. Good morning, husband friends. I just woke up and I'm just making some coffee. <laughs> the first thing that I notice is there's a little black spot and the new mustard leaf 
I'm not so sure what is happening, but it is starting to push out. And oh my god, look at that. <laughs> oh my god. And the other new leaf is over here. And the other one is also starting to develop. And I'm just so excited. Let's see if you can see, which is not going to focus until I put my hand to focus. Um, I'm gonna start the, I'm gonna clean the humidifier right now because it hasn't been on for almost 24 hours, but even then it's been pretty pretty warm, and it's 71% humidity in the plant room, which is perfectly like fine. So that's good. This monitor is starting to be super super good. I'm just so happy because like it was just like I said it, it went through so much. When we moved into the apartment and now I can start to like be happy and push out lots of new growth and that's just satisfying to see and the Birkins of course oh also my bromeliad y'all it's gonna bloom I'm just so excited do y'all see that so I'm gonna make sure that I, uh, it always has water in its leaves but not too much I'm gonna start reading more into it but oh my god I honestly thought this was the bloom like the um punceras you know in punceras when the weather changes and when it gets less light and it gets colder its leaves actually look like flowers like the red it's just it's a leaf but it turns red the actual flowers are the yellow ones and they're super super small and i thought it was the same thing as this one i knew it's a, it said bromeliad but i thought it was the same thing but no it's just a beautiful variegation how it looks but the new leaves don't look like this i'm guessing it just depends by lights or when the bloom pushes out it turns more pink i'm not so sure but as you guys can see you guys can't really see right there, but in this one you can since there's more light. Look at that. Oh my god, I just cannot wait for it to bloom. Uh, and yeah, I'm just making sure that it's getting enough light and I might fertilize it. I still haven't learned how to fertilize, so as of now, I'm only giving it fish tank water, which is a good, like, very light fertilizer for her. So yeah, get my coffee and then I'm gonna go clean that humidifier because uh, just a bonus humidity for the plant room. It helps a lot with, you know, I just want my babies to grow in a humid environment. Like I said yesterday, there was no humidifier on. I had these two windows open and the fan on as well. And it was really, really windy, like insane windy. Uh, so a lot of the plants ended up drying out and that's exactly what I wanted. Like all of the saucers that were full with water, it just evaporated and you know, that's what I want because I don't want them to develop root rot. When I was cleaning the fish tank, I gave them so much water because I didn't want to waste all that good water. You know, I didn't want to, want to just like toss it out in a tub. But yeah, and also it seems like it's going to rain. So I am going to clean the humidifier. I'm not going to turn it on today. I might just open the windows, get some more fresh air, turn on the fan again. I always turn it off whenever I film because it can mess up with the audio. But turn the fan on, the ceiling fan above, and then open the two windows and let some light air going through but it's you know when it rains outside it gets humid so that's gonna be nice um for the plants <sighs> okay so hey guys welcome back to another part of the clip it's gonna be the same video but it's already two days since the last time i filmed and this little vloggy thing and i ended up buying some dollar tree from my kitty valentina yes her name is literally by the salsa and can we just talk about this beautiful orchid we're gonna go talk, like look at some plants in a bit. Just having one of our moments. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Mama, let me take it off, okay? It's kinda hard to film. You with the little toy? Look. You don't want it. Really? She's like, yeah, I'm over it. Yes, kitty. Yes. So here's a, a little new leaf update. Ademosera deliciosa. It's getting big, but this is getting a little bit in the way. So I'm hoping that it can just organize itself a little bit. And also, you see that little leaf in the back. And then this other one. Ooh, okay. So there's another one. So this one. And then there was another one right over here. Super cute, the jewel orchid that we ended up getting 
at a plant swapping video, which I'm so excited to post. It's pretty long, but yeah, it's so much fun. And then there's a little new shoe that's coming out, so that's super exciting. Now, my is getting a little bit of lighting, but I, th I think I can handle it. It is morning sunlight, it's not like afternoon sunlight, so it's not so harsh. And look at that. Ugh, it's just putting so many leaves and I'm so happy. Also, I ended up finding out that my bromeliad, I think I already told y'all. It was on the floor where she was at, but I've decided to place it over here and Lord have mercy, I need to vacuum. So it, it can get a little bit more lighting because I know these don't like a lot of direct light. It's fine with morning sunlight from what I read and saw on YouTube, but it is putting out new blooms. And I don't know if it's going to focus since it's so dark, but there's little blooms developing, which is super exciting. I was just playing with the, the grass. Look at that. She's gonna have fun with this. But yeah, so I'm gonna go and finish my coffee, watch a little bit more plant videos, and then get back over here, organize a video on what I'm gonna film, and just chat with you guys a little bit more and see what to do. Alrighty, plenty friends. I hope the loading is not that bad. I'm gonna go move this to the side. Just finish cleaning up a little bit. And yes, there is always trash weather. Y'all, I promise we take out the trash, but it just stacks up. We buy a lot of takeout because we don't know how to cook. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm gonna go set this up to the side and place this para acá so we can clean the humidifier. So back in the day, I used to always read articles saying that whenever you clean your humidifiers, and I still believe in it, to use white distilled vinegar. That's amazing because it disinfects your humidifier, so there's not bacteria growing in there or mold. And also, it removes all of this white stuff on your humidifiers from the tap water. So that's all good. But I don't think I'm going to do it on this one. What I do recommend now is cleaning your humidifier with white distilled vinegar once a month if you use it every single day once a month but like i said it just depends on how much you use it when you use it and how hard your water is your your tap water but uh for me i'm gonna clean this with white soda vinegar once a month and right now it's not time for that but every time i refill it i always try to clean it and as you guys can see let me look in the camera you guys can see all that nasty stuff inside so there it is and i'm gonna Put you guys to the sink as well because we're gonna go and rinse it out. So you know, I just literally rinse it out with water, regular tap water, and then I get my microfiber cloth and I just start scrubbing it down inside over here. So we're gonna go dump out this nasty water. Not every humidifier is different, and I, this is almost new for me. It hasn't been a month yet since I've been using it. But you do want to remove the pieces that's inside of it. And this, you just squeeze it out and clean it. It's really dirty inside. I'm going to fill it with water. Okay, then we get a new And then scrub the inside with this until it's clean. By the way, you wouldn't have to clean your humidifier so much if you use white distilled vinegar and wait, white so okay. Lord have mercy. If you are using uh, distilled water, right now I'm tight on them, even though distilled water is not that expensive, it's like a dollar, like a gallon. I'm just using tap water for right now. But whenever I get the chance, I always try to use distilled water. It's just a lot better and it doesn't get your humidifier dirty. You don't, get it, you don't get it clean it so often. Let's it out again. This is one of my favorite humidifiers, by the way. I ended up doing a series 
which you guys can go check out on my channel. There's a playlist on me like reviewing humidifiers. And this is my favorite one. It's pretty expensive, but it has so many good things on it. It's a warm and a cold mist humidifier. You can add essential oils on it as well, which is amazing because who doesn't love spending well it depends what's your favorite essential oil but mine is lemongrass i love 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 the smell of lemongrass and peppermint so that's all fun and jazzy and i know it's a little bit of a debate people say that using essential oils can like clog the pores of the leaves but i've done research and personally I, it might change you know but I haven't had any issues using essential oils like at all so i don't know why also there's a lot of like mix articles out there people saying that it's bad because it clogs the pores like i said and all they're saying is perfectly fine as long as it's a natural essential oil you won't have any problems so yeah you can do it at your own risk <laughs> but i use essential oils on my humidifiers obviously i don't pour it on the tank the tank it has a little section on the side some humidifiers don't have it but this one does and they're all different in the spots where you can add your two drops of essential oils and that's enough Put it back in and then boom that's literally it so yeah and what else oh also it's just it's great you guys i love it so much it also has two nozzles this is not sponsored by the way it has two nozzles where you can throw a mist i have it at the same direction so you guys can see you can mess back up mess back up you can just change it however you want to change it on the direction but yeah i just get my microfiber cloth and i get in the cracks and i try to remove all of that white stuff on it, mineral deposit. Just clean it really good. And that's basically it. Now it's a little bit difficult to get in those cracks, so maybe like next week I'll be disinfecting it and using white distilled vinegar to remove all of those hard water stains in here. But this is already good. Sorry, I already rinsed this one. I'm gonna do another pass. And when I do clean it with water soap vinegar, I will make a updated video. But you guys, everybody cleans their humidifiers very different, and not as much as others, but more than others. It just depends a lot. There's no actual specific way on how to clean the humidifier. This is just the way that I clean it. I'm gonna the tank. Fill it up. Shake it. By the way, it does come with a little brush that you can use to scrub it, scrub it away. But I just noticed that a microfiber cloth gets the job done. So that's why I just use it. I'm put this over here. I'm gonna go plug it in making sure it's dry. Okay. Set the humidity to 75. Oh, it is fine as well. And then that's literally it. We're gonna let it heat up and do its thing. But, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!